Charles stood next to Kira and Ali as the doorway he created to Alaria disappeared. They were left standing in the abandoned building of a military base in Colorado, some twenty miles away from where he had found the injured Silver Husky. Several large white domes dotted the visible horizon, and a nearby sign proclaimed the ruined area as Buckley Air Force Base. Why are we here? Allie asked in confusion. She had been expecting them to reappear in Dungeonville. Instead, they were somewhere else, a place covered in drifting snow and a biting cold that tickled her nose. Charlotte needed some parts for one of her projects, and this base was reported to have what she needs. He pointed behind them to the lightning-scorched ground, wisps of smoke curling gently above it. My zero-door spell leveled up yesterday on our way here, which is part of what allowed me to finally come to get you. I've been using it every chance I get, but I could only use it once a day, no matter what I tried. He grinned. Now, though, I can use it twice a day. His smile disappeared with a grimace. Normally, anyway. Apparently, going to another world uses both slots. We will have to wait till tomorrow to go back home. In a show of control that she hadn't possessed before, Kira summoned her weapon. The bracelet flowed down her wrist and formed into a large maul with a spike opposite the blunt smashing head. Before, a bright flash of light had always accompanied the weapon forming, and her ability to affect its shape had been minimal. Charles didn't say anything, as he saw how the sight affected Allie. They had been growing stronger and more adept in their skills, while she had been stuck learning from a goddess. It was a more than a decent trade, in his mind. To her, the sudden difference might make it feel less so. Don't worry, we haven't left you behind or anything he told her gently. I have only leveled up to 21. The experience needed to go from 19 to 20 was double what I needed to go from 18 to 19. It is a somewhat similar jump to what happened at 15. We can't confirm it since no one else is close to our current levels, but we also think our race advancements may have affected how much experience is needed for each level. That, and we haven't been focusing on hunting monsters as much lately, Kira cut in pointing her large hammer effortlessly at the approaching group of rabid animals. The weapon must have weighed at least thirty pounds minimum, but she handled it as though it weighed nothing. Though, I have reached level nineteen, same as you. Level fifteen was the cutoff for normal people. It was the level that separated the warriors from those that would be regular villagers. It required the same amount of experience you had earned up to that point to move up that single level. Thankfully, it went back to normal once you reached level 16, with only minor increases needed to reach 17 and up. Charles couldn't help grinning happily as he faced the pack of overgrown animals. The ability to level up did not belong to just humans. Animals could do it as well. The examples in front of them were what happened when they hunted their own kind. They went feral first, and then rabid, losing any ability they had once possessed to think. They became nothing more than another monster to be hunted. His eyes flashed golden for a moment as he was tempted to use his divine abilities. He didn't believe the desire was bad. It was simply too easy to become reliant on them. Not to mention he had spent so much time practicing his magic that it would be a waste to use such a strong ability on the weak. In any case, he could only use the dispersion spell once a day. It made no sense to waste it on the weaklings. Was there a reason for the jump? Allie asked, breaking his chain of thought. We got classes when we reached fifteen. Was there anything like that this time? There was a notification about increases in the inventory, but that was it. And it didn't affect me anyway. His inventory was already in what he suspected was the completed form. There had been one slight change to it, but Allie didn't need to know about it just yet. He had actually been rather disappointed that it wasn't something else, but understood that he and his sister were different. It would be interesting to see what changes were made to Kira's and Ali's inventories when the time came. They, well, Kira was now a high human, and Ali had never even been one. Who knew how everything would work for them?